Hey everybody, this is Dust for the on Gaming, getting ready for round number one of the Modern Challenge. Um, so, for those of you that thought the Modern format might be dead, um, 158 players for an 8 round tournament that uh, a lot of these other challenges will get like 70 or 80 or 90 players in Legacy or Vintage or Popper. So, Modern, <laughs> approaching 160. Um, so, we'll either have 159 or 160 people, 8 rounds. Um, I am playing Dredge, so you'll probably see that on the title before I get get around to playing anyway, but uh, roll the dice between Burn, Is a Phoenix, and Dredge, and the die came up Dredge. Excuse me. So, that is why we are playing the deck that not many people like to see, quite frankly. 161 joined, so... Be getting re ready to roll here momentarily. We'll be on the draw, which kind of sucks, but that's life. <clears throat> sure, put a good luck, and we'll see what happens. Been a week or two since I've played Dredge, but I think I have a pretty good feel for the deck now. It's one of the three decks I kind of like playing in Modern at this point. Um, I still want to learn Amulet Titan and revisit Grixis Shadow, but Burn, Is It Phoenix, and Dredge all kind of have their little sweet spots. So, we're up against Broken Wings. Well, while we're waiting on our opponents, the list we're running is basically the list that uh, we played last time out. They have the one of Steam Vents, uh, a couple of Memories Journey in the sideboard, along with Leyline in the Void. Beyond that, uh, the only notable thing is two copies of Dark Blast, one Thug. So, and then three Ancient Grudge, th four Nature's Claim as our anti-hate cards, three Lightning Axe to come in against the various creature decks, including um, Phoenix most notably, Abrupt Decay is another hate card, or answer to hate cards, two copies of Leyline in the Void, two copies of Memory's Journey for the Graveyard decks, um, Creeping Chill, the bane of my burn existence, um, you know, Blood Ghasts, Prize Amalgams, Dark Amoebas, are primary creature threats. Obviously, you can hard cast Inkweed Imps and Golgari Thugs, especially easily if you have to. Um, Life from the Loam Conflagrate, it's kind of your backup slash fireball plan. And then Shriekhorn, Faithless Looting, Cathartic Reunion, help you fill the graveyard in addition to hard casting Life from the Loam. So, one of Gemstone Mine, not how sure, sure how I feel about that. And beyond that, I mean. Dredge is dredge. Dredge does dredge things. And we're still waiting on our opponent. Hmm. Alright. Well. So, as far as the future of the channel, we started a donation deck list thing. Um, mentioned it in last night's video of playing Ben Adler's Mono Red Phoenix list. Basically, it's going to be $5 to get your deck played in a minimum of three two man queues. Um, it'll be $8 for a friendly league, $12 for a competitive league. Um, it's pretty much where things are going to end. I don't think I'm going to do modern challenges or legacy challenges or any of that kind of stuff. Um, the goal is to kind of get things a little bit more rolling on the channel. Um, things people want to see, they're willing to pay money for. Uh, I'm willing to play. Uh, it gives me a little bit more motivation to play people's decks. I'm not playing it for free. Um, it is taking up my time and energy that I could be using to do other things for the channel. So, <clears throat> all I'm asking is pretty much the minimum entry fee, five bucks. Um, technically, the entry fee for three two man queues is six, but when you consider you get the minimum of 50 points back, you're getting, you know, it's about a buck fifty a shot. So when you figure in tax for purchasing tickets, if you have to actually purchase tickets, I think five bucks is a pretty fair thing. Uh, so you play a minimum of three matches. Um, if your deck wins at least one or two matches, I'll play it an additional one or two matches. And then if it continues winning, I'll play up to six matches with the deck. So the more your deck wins, the more I play it, the more you get a longer video of what your deck does. <clears throat> um, last night, I think I played Ben's list five matches, though we technically won all five. He technically, it was technically a free list, but he signed up for our Patreon page. Um, if you want to check out our Patreon page, it's in the link down below. It's in on every single one of our videos I have a link in the description um, so you have the choice to donate through patreon which the link is in the 
the, the my channel description and then if you look at the actual caption above the channel there's a little thing that says PayPal, PayPal something um, click on that and it'll give you a list to donate and then it'll show up on my PayPal as to who donated it and then send me a list on mtgotavern at gmail.com and is our opponent just not going to show? I mean gonna complain about a free win I guess <sighs> anyways <clears throat> so why play dredge over Phoenix or burn besides the fact that I happened to roll a dice that came up three and f three or four both times um, so I think dredge might be a little bit better placed in the meta I think everybody's gunning for Phoenix which means yes there is some graveyard hate and such but targeted graveyard heat isn't quite as effective against dredge as something like leyline the void or rest in peace and those cards generally aren't quite as good against as a phoenix and then obviously some of the more aggressive decks and such um, the dredge deck kind of preys on a little bit and the is it is it phoenix matchup feels pretty close like i think we played it once with dredge and i don't know if i can't remember if we've played it on the Iza Phoenix things if I played against Dredge, but I think the matchup's pretty close. Um, I'm not sure who has the edge. It's one of the one of the matches I was researching, and I don't know who actually has the edge in the matchup. Um, I think it's close. I think game one comes down to uh, whoever has, like they have to have Thing in the Ice and flip it, or some fast Phoenixes. Um, we have to obviously have a good start as a dredge deck. Um, so, we'll see what happens. It looks like our round one opponent may in fact not even show up. So, great way to start an eight round tournament. Your opponent pay for the tournament and then not show up. So, and if we happen to play, I'll definitely carry the match here. But, uh, yeah, basically did an informal deck tech and discussion about the donation deck list thing. Um, as far as decks that need to be played, I have a Gruul Burn deck with Utakabi Drake, which is a 2-1 for 1 green with haste, with an echo of 1 GG, um, that really tries to leverage um, a Tarkus command, in addition to the, the new red spells. Um, to be honest, the, the one drop options for burn after... Um, after Goblin got in Swift Spear, you've got Gitu Lava Runner, you've got Bomat Courier, you've got uh, Vexing Devil, you've got Wild Nakadol. Um, is that my opponent actually showing up? Oh, what do you know? They actually showed up. That's unfortunate. Well, <laughs> yeah, that kind of sucks. And then we keep because we have Cathartic, but if we get Discard Spelled or something, we're going to be in a lot of trouble. So, Blue Light Control, possibly. Oh, Spirits. Not good for the home team. I think two of my three losses have ended up being to uh, blue white spirits. So could could be a sad ending for our team here, unfortunately. Our opponent with no apologies or nothing for not showing up. Okay, it looks like it's banned, which I don't know is actually any better, but you know whatever. <coughs> so our opponent missed a point of damage there for absolutely no reason. <laughs> 
So Last turn. Opponent seems to be playing very loose, although this is definitely not our best matchup. Sure. Gonna get hit for six here. Probably get counter now that our opponent's actually paying attention this time. One card in hand, we get an amalgam back. Who's our opponent casting here? So these decks are less likely to run the spirit that exiles graveyards. Sure, Geist of St. Trash. Church back Stinkweed Imp. Didn't seem to hit anything we care about here. So taking two, five, two, four, seven here. If they have another Lord, we're dead? Question mark.
eat. They have collected company, we're probably dead anyway, so. Path to exile first. Is our other mountain still in our deck? It looks like the answer is yes. Punted, just punted. So, a game we shouldn't have won, we won. Eh. Alright, so I'm looking at rest in peace here, most likely. How many things does Dark Blast actually get out of their deck? Quite a few without a Lord in play. So, got a creeping chill or two, bring in some nature's claims, bring in a couple lava axes, cut a cathartic or two, just especially on the Durox, it's really hard to resolve. And then, what else am I cutting here? It's just... Hmm. Try it like that. Might seem crazy to shave a land, but I think on the draw I can probably get away with it. Sand is total garbage. Sand's pretty reasonable. Obviously we don't have our anti-graveyard heat stuff, but, or anti-graveyard heat, yeah, the nature's claims and such here. I feel like we're going to get hit by it, nope, just done that, alright.
So for those of you that wondered, the spell caller couldn't counter the conflagrate because the conflagrate's converted mana cost was seven because we discarded three cards. But if they would have allowed the mausoleum wonder tr last trigger to resolve, then uh, they would have. Doing this at the end of the main phase just to try to <clears throat> spike something dumb like uh, Possible I'm just supposed to draw a land here. Or try to draw lands, I should say. Sure, either way, it's dying. Draw an Arc Amoeba that we would want to hit, have wanted to hit anyway. Uh, maybe it was just better to dredge. Sure. We're just going to dredge from now on. Not sure why they would have Night of Autumn. I guess it's just a life gain mechanism. These tar two Narc Amoebas in our hand, plus... We're just too far behind this game. <clears throat> it's 
It's possible I could have come back and won here, but without hitting lands, without hitting uh, things we need to hit there. So bring the gemstone mine back in, perhaps working that out was a mistake. And what else am I cutting then? Maybe a thug? Try like that. It's a mulligan. So if we happen to hit a dredger, we can probably really go to town next turn. Alright, that one's annoying. Good and save this faithless looting for now. Hopefully your opponent doesn't have a rest in peace on top of that. Jiminy Buffets. Alright. <clears throat> well, it shows us absolutely no graveyard hate game 2, and then game 3 has two pieces of it. So we might still have a game on our hands, because basically both players have done absolutely nothing in turn one and turn two. You have another one. So I've seen what one dredger so far. Last turn. <clears throat>
Come on, give me a dredger one time. Probably should have put Dark Blast back instead of the cards I did. <clears throat> Guess a series of one good punts deserved another here. Don't color it. There's a loom, finally. You have a queller, you have a queller, nothing I can do about it. chill, nice little pickup here. <clears throat> so, one, two,
Oh, it just appears to be sitting on a whole bunch of nothing. Well, Collected Company can definitely change that whole bunch of nothing into a whole bunch of something. Yep. Is there any way for us to survive this turn? I don't think so. So I can loom back up to six cars in hand. Kill. Drug Skull Captain and Reflector Mage. So me actually fetching there might have been lethal for me. Two, five. Is there any way to bypass the stupidity? Yeah, it looks like that fetch might actually turn out to be lethal. Um, so... These two and then die to these two, I guess. Actually, I guess we're technically at one here. But if they draw any type of lord, we're dead.
a spell caller, we're dead. Looks like he didn't. So path is still lethal here. So they had a chance to kill us and they just didn't. Okay. Please don't be a lord. Seriously. So our opponent played, showed up late, played absolutely terribly to give us a chance to win, and then still wins the match. Seems about right. I mean, we definitely had some uh, punts of our own there, but <laughs> our opponent made so many goofy mistakes. Oh well. Modern sometimes, what can you do? This has been Dust for Dusted on Gaming with round one of potentially up to eight here with Modern Dredge in the Modern Challenge.